In this video, I'm going to provide a quick update on my debt-free journey before jumping into YNAB's four simple rules of budgeting, which are going to help you whether you're in debt or not. Welcome to my channel. I'm Harlan D. White, where we're focused on eliminating debt and minimizing the if-only regrets with money. My goal is to help people learn from my own successes and failures with money, and that's the reason why I'm working on documenting my journey of eliminating almost $50,000 in debt and at the same time trying to be as transparent as possible. So I'll be covering topics such as budgeting, paying off debt, credit scores, emergency funds, investing, and whatever else I learned along the way. In doing so, I hope to prevent such if-only moments as if only I had not cashed out my 401k when I switched jobs Number one, I'd have a lot more money in my retirement account. And number two, I wouldn't have paid nearly 50% of that money in taxes, penalties, and fees. Yep, I actually did that. At the time, it seemed like a pretty good idea. Nope. All right, so here's a quick update on my debt-free journey. Since May, I've been able to reduce my debt by $18,935 using a slightly modified version of Dave Ramsey's debt snowball strategy, which I do talk about more in the video above. This includes paying off the balance of my credit card number four in the amount of $1,359. In last week's video, I discussed how I was able to set up a payment arrangement for this debt to settle it for less than the total amount owed. The original amount for this debt was $11,197, and I was able to settle it for $3,359. If you're interested in that, you can check out this one too. So as a result, this is what my debt snowball looks like today. So we're definitely still making progress. I'm excited about it, and we're just gonna keep moving forward. We're all not gonna be at the same place in terms of how much money we can actually put towards paying off debt each and every single month. However, one of the keys to us being able to do that or succeeding in that endeavor is getting a budget. And I'm sure YNAB's four simple rules of budgeting can help. First off, I have no financial interest with YNAB. However, I do use it and I like it. And so I just wanted to share it with each of you. So what is YNAB? YNAB stands for You Need a Budget. And it's both a budgeting software and community built around four simple rules. So today I'm going to be mostly focused on providing a high level overview of the four simple rules. However, I will touch on their software a little bit. Rule number one, give every dollar a job. Now, one of the keys to understand this rule is to also understand that YNAB's system is built around only budgeting the money that you have today. Traditionally, a budget is based off of future forecasts of estimated income and expenses for a set period of time, typically one month periods. But based on YNAB's methodology, even though you know that you're going to get paid in a week or two weeks or a month, you won't actually budget that money until it's in your bank account. But once the money is in your bank account, that's when you give every dollar a job. Now, this is where the YNAB software actually does help, and it helps you to visualize all the different categories where you need to budget your money. It's essentially a software version of the cash envelope system. In the cash envelope system, you have one envelope for each budget category. And when you get a check and you cash it, you get the cash and you put how much money into each envelope that you want to spend for that particular category. Well, in YNAB, it's essentially virtual envelopes. So in the software, you're able to list out all of the different budget categories that you have. So when you get your money and you're looking to budget it appropriately, all you do is you put the money into each category that you know that you need to budget for in that peer pay period. Again, you're only budgeting money that's actually in your bank account. So according to YNAB, when you are intentional about making a detailed plan for what your money needs to do before you get paid, every time you get paid, things start to change. Rule number two, embrace your true expenses. What this is is breaking up larger, less frequent expenses into manageable monthly bills. This would cover things such as Christmas, back to school shopping, insurance premiums, car repairs, and the list goes on. So let's take Christmas for example. If you're someone that knows that they typically spend roughly $1,200 every Christmas, you can start in January putting $100 aside each and every single month so that when you get to December, you already have that $1,200. Instead of getting to December, not having the money, and then deciding to put it on credit cards instead, as an example. 
but this also is not an emergency fund. An emergency fund is for emergencies, things that you had not planned for. But a lot of things, even car repairs can be planned for ahead of time so that when there is an instance where you need to take your car in to get fixed, you don't have to worry about where that money is going to come from. So again, this is another place where the YNAB software actually comes in handy because when you get your, your income and you're looking to give every dollar a job, you can put it in such categories as gifts or car repairs or whatever else. This forces you to face your true expenses and not only account for your monthly expenses. And if you're unable to do this, it probably means that you're living beyond your means. Rule three roll with the punches, which means change your budget as needed if your circumstances or priorities change. And this is actually a concept that I don't hear very often when talking about budgeting. However, according to YNAB, adjusting your budget, shifting numbers around, reprioritizing, that's budgeting. If you are changing your budget throughout the month, you're doing it right. Now again, this is where the YNAB software or even a traditional cash envelope system really does come in handy because essentially what you're doing is you're putting your money in all these different categories and let's say you want to go out to eat but you already used up all your money to go out to eat. Now this doesn't mean that you can't go out to eat but what this does is allows you to make a decision on what other envelope you're going to take this money from. And the goal here is really to teach you how to live within your means and not just to swipe a credit card. Do this month to month, you'll start to realize patterns in your budget and then you can more accurately reflect the amount that you want to budget for each category. Rule four, age your money. Now this basically is a principle around not living paycheck to paycheck and using money that you made more than 30 days previously. When I first heard this, it seemed like a weird concept, but now it does make sense to me. Again, this is not your emergency fund, but it does require having at least one month of your true expenses in the bank. And it's at this point you stop worrying about your next paycheck and you understand that when a bill comes, you can actually make the payment. Depending where you're at, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's a great goal to strive toward. According to YNAB, focus on your budget day to day, be ruthless about your priorities, Think hard about your true expenses, use your budget to guide your spending, and you will get ahead. So to recap, rule number one, give every dollar a job, which means as you receive money, allocate it to the appropriate budget categories. Rule number two, embrace your true expenses, which means break up your larger, less frequent expenses into monthly payments to yourself. Rule three, roll with the punches, which essentially means actively manage your budget to stay within your means. Rule four, aid your money. By following rules one through three consistently, strive to stop living paycheck to paycheck if that's where you're at today. So I actually do like YNAD's four simple rules of budgeting. Comment below, I would love to hear what you think. Got any value out of this video, hit that like button. And if you're interested in getting out of debt, improving your personal finances in general, or wanna follow me on my journey, definitely hit that subscribe button and the notifications button. Until next time.